question and answer portion. If you have any questions, you can just raise your hand and our very own Kuya Serge will be willing to answer it. Okay, do you have any questions? Okay, Kuya Dale, please uh, come and answer. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank you, Serge, for that wonderful and inspiring talk. Napaisip na rin ako. Anyways, so my question for you would be, kasi yung with all yung, uh, your achievements, I'd like to know what are yung mga, siguro certain challenges that you've met and how did you overcome them? Well, number one challenge, of course, I'm in med school. Siyempre, ang hirap ng med school. Alis may nadadalian sa inyo. Pero... <laughs> That is the number one challenge is yung number one challenge is med school. But I've already um, managed to do something about it. Uh, number two, I think right now is yung sustainability, sustainability of the project. That is the first uh, thing that I had to think about when I was building an advocacy. Kasi magbibigay lang ako ng magbibigay ako ng teddy bears and after that ano mga yare. Tutugtugan ko sila ng music after that ano mga yare. So I. It, I want my project to be sustainable so that it could still help others in the long run. Hindi lang yung initial kids na tinulungan namin. At the same time, kailangan siya maging sustainable kasi I will not always be here. My friends and I will not always be here. At least, pag sustainable siya, we can find someone to replace those who are helping so that they can help others then on their own little way. Hey, uh, Dr. Lee. Uh, thank you, Serge, for your lecture. Your speech. <laughs> um, you mentioned a while ago something about uh, you know you should know when to stop. Like, para kung sinabihan ka ng sabi, eh, tigil mo na yung panuligo mo. Tigil mo na. Oh, yeah. So what would make you, my first question is, what would make you stop? And then my next question is, how do you handle the finances of your organization? What would make me stop is kapag nakita kong may papalit na, may papalit na dun sa, sa situation ko. I, I am the president and founder of Project Gifted. If I could find someone suitable enough to replace me in my position, that is when I would know how to stop. Siyempre, we don't, nasimula na natin. Nasimula na natin, may mga natulungan na tayo. People look up to you now. So, pag iniwanan mo sila, yung, yung pagkataas-taas na hope na binigay mo sa kanila, tapos biglang nawala ka nalang, bababa siya ulit, back to zero tayo. Pero, if you stay there, put another one in there and leave because of personal reasons or something, or just because mayroon ka ng kapalit, maririteng niya yung yung kumbaga yung yung leverage na kung saan mo siya iniwan at i-improve pa niya yun. And yun lang yun. Yun lang yung nakikita kong way for me to stop with my advocacy. Kapag meron ng uh, suitable to change me in my position. And uh, managing of finances. Um, very delicate talaga tayo pagdating sa finances. Um, so paano tayo nakakuha ng, ng donation? Well, uh, mas unutilize namin kasi talaga yung um, private donors private donors kasi pag private donors kasi alam niyo ba na na na-realize ko to na napakadaming gustong tumulong sobrang daming gustong tumulong pero sobrang tamad nila ay alam niyo yun parang halimbawa si si kuya number one. oh eto na yung pera ko pero ikaw gumawa ha mamimigay lang ako ng pera pero gusto nilang tumulong deep inside tamad lang sila so, utilize natin yung finances na yun. Finances na yun. Um, kaya, kaya tayo nakakakuha ng mga, mga donors. Approach nyo lang yung friends nyo. At saka, bigyan nyo sila ng parang uh, a package that is very suitable for their need. Uh, suitable na dun sa financial status nila. Uh, yung Chinese, yung Chinese uh, policy kasi policy. Chinese whatever. Kasi, na uh, basta madami kita, laki, dami kita, ay, Mas liit, liit kita. Ayun, mas ayun. Mas liit kita. Ayun, mas gets mo na yun. Basta, basta kahit mura yan, basta madami, okay lang. Diba? 
natutunan ko yun sa aking lola. So yun, um, pagdating naman sa management of finances, uh, we make sure na we give out receipts, we give out uh, kahit vouchers man lang, at we pinapakita namin, uh, pinapakita namin sa donors. We email, we email them regularly so that they know where their money is going. Tapos yung, yung pagdating sa management ng fees, we only have one person who handles money. In my case, that's my mother. Kasi siya yung sanay sa pagdating sa sa management ng pera. Ayun. Um, one more thing, ito lang, tip lang, if you have a, a very big advocacy, um, try to utilize yung mga companies. For example, I utilize ABS-CBN. Bakit kailangan natin lumapit? Bakit magandang lapitan ang mga big companies? Anybody know? Does anybody have an idea? Ah, hindi lang yun. Uh, maganda yung lapitan yung mga big companies like uh, uh, ABS-CBN, San Miguel, uh, whatever. Kasi these big companies need to have foundation so that they could have less tax. Kaya, halimbawa, halimbawa tayo, ilagay lang natin yung maganda na yung pangalan ng school natin eh. A university, plus college of medicine pa. Pag nakita nila na sobrang ganda ng package mo na ibibigay mo sa kanila, bibigyan ka nila ng bibigyan ka nila ng ng sponsorship. Kasi it benefits, it also benefits nila. Do we have any more questions? Okay, if there is none, thank you Kuya Serge. Uh, let us give him a round of applause. Oh, my God, I love you, sir. Thank you for the uh, for the lecture, po. Um, oh, nga po, you um you told us about the stuff. You know that you you know your passion. You know your limits and everything. But can you tell us more about how to get the confidence to actually execute our ideas into reality? Well, uh, I did not do. My advocacy by myself. Sabi ko nga kanina, so tip number uh, number three, number two, uh, you know, you should know your allies. I know many of my friends who have this big idea, pero hindi nila kaya execute by themselves. So they utilize their friends. They for, I, I believe we are all confident in front of our friends. Tapos alam naman natin yung limits. Know your limits. Alam natin yung limits natin. Know your capabilities. Ano natin capabilities natin? Kung sa feeling mo, or feeling natin lahat, hindi tayo marunong magsalita, let your friend do it. Pag sa feeling mo, hindi mo kaya mag-manage, let your friend be the president or be the head of that project. Tutulungan mo lang siya. Kaya ako sinabi, know your passion, know your capabilities. Ano yung kaya mong gawin for that organization? You already have an idea. At gather a group of friends, mag-brainstorm tayo. Gather a group of friends, mag-brainstorm tayo. Form one, one idea. Think of what you can do for that idea. Think of what your friends can do for that idea, and then execute it. You don't necessarily have, uh, you don't necessarily need to have that full confidence. Because, yung yung pagkukulang mo sa confidence, your allies will feel it. Na na nasagot ko ba yun talo? You don't have to play the hero when play, when when executing an advocacy. You just have to be passionate about it. Yun talaga. Parang, sabi ko nga, know your limits. Hindi mo kaya, you cannot save the world by yourself. Yeah, you need to know your, your allies. You need to know your friends. So that, uh, together, you can make the change na sinasabi natin, gusto natin mangyari. Okay, thank you, Kuya John, Sir JJ, at Lance. Shall we give him a round of applause? Thank you, Kuya. Okay, for the next part of our program, we will